Hello and welcome to this special edition of Vantage. We are coming to you live from Tel Aviv, Israel's second biggest city, also its commercial capital. Normally, the city is buzzing around this time, but not today. Today, Tel Aviv has been silenced by sirens and explosions. It is a war zone. Hamas has been striking Israel through the weekend, and Israel has responded with force. They've been bombing Gaza non-stop. The death toll is said to have crossed 1,100, many of them civilians. On the internet, there are many reports about this war, some conflicting, some confusing, and some outright false. As they say, the first casualty of any war is truth. And that is the reason we decided to come to Ground Zero, to see for ourselves where this war is heading. Over the next few days, we will keep you informed about everything that's happening here, the military strategies, the political response, and of course, the rising human cost. In such situations, facts matter the most. But to get there, you must wade through many hurdles. The propaganda, the vested interests, and in this case, rocket strikes. And that is our mission here in Israel, to show you the reality of this war, the uncensored and unadulterated reality. We've got a packed show lined up for you, the latest updates from the front lines, the inside details of how Hamas could have pulled off this sneak attack, and what it means for Israel's famous intelligence setup. Let's get started. I know there's a lot happening right now and you're being flooded by information. So let's try to simplify things. Let's look at 10 questions. 10 questions that explain this war and what happens next. What is happening in Israel as we speak? Question number one, what is the situation on the front line? Israel says the border communities have been retaken. Around 1,000 Hamas terrorists had launched an incursion on Saturday. They held on to localities in Israel's south. The next day, Israel declared war. They called in the military and special forces, and there were grueling gunfights in the south, but now most of the border communities have been liberated. Only a few holdouts still remain. What about the terrorists? They've either been killed or driven out. But the battle is not limited to southern Israel anymore. It is spread across the region. Israel is carrying out air raids on Gaza. More than a thousand Hamas targets have been hit. You can see plumes of black smoke across the Strip, the Gaza Strip. Many civilian buildings were also hit, but Hamas is not backing down. In fact, they're hitting back. Hamas fired more rockets through the day today. Air raid sirens rang across central Israel. People in Jerusalem were seen heading for cover.